What? 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 I was just, I was waiting for the cue. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely no, song. It's a wonder. So, uh, look, we're podcasting later today, and, and you know how this goes. Stories that, that necessarily can't, well, because it's, a, it's an action-packed thrill ride, three hours with a lot of news. Breaking news, the president's coming up here shortly. So we have uh, just a ton of other stories that we're going to load up the podcast with, including the podcast today will be a lengthy apology from Rob Marciano, who moments ago showed us lovely video of deer in Colorado and thought to himself, hmm, what a wonderful stew. So, uh, expect that and more in the podcast. Go to CNN.com, download the CNN Daily Newsroom podcast, available to you 24-7, right there. Download it onto your iPod. There's a new scam out there trying to take away your hard-earned cash. Internet correspondent Veronica De La Cruz is joining us now for more on this. So Veronica, what kind of scam is this and, and who's at risk? Well, hello to you, Heidi. You know, first it was landlines, then we saw email. Now we're seeing cell phones. Hundreds of customers from Empire Bank in Missouri received text messages to their cell phones warning them that their accounts had expired. It then asked them to log on to a website, empireservicesonline.net, which is a fake website. And when they did... Oh their banking and personal information was captured. Now, the vice president of the bank says that this is the fourth wave of phishing scams targeting customers. So now you got to watch out, Heidi. They're using your cell phone to send you text messages. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, i got to be careful. Yeah, so what's this new survey that's saying that uh, some gadgets are just too hard to use? I don't know, people re returning them or something because they can't yeah. figure it out? I, well, I mean, you have to agree, right? They're, they're not all easy to use. I, I only know enough to be dangerous with my... <laughs> Uh, you know, Blackberry yeah, yeah. and things. And your video iPod to, to watch the podcast, right? Yes, yes. well, there's right. that. There you go. Of hey, did, did, did the Winter Boots, did they make it yesterday? Uh, I, I ha you know, I'll watch later. I got it right here. Don't okay. worry about it. Okay, okay so, so this report, it was published by Deloitte's <laughs> Technology so Media and a me. Telecommunications <laughs> <Sorry>. Practice. <laughs> Heidi, it shows that consumer tolerance is limited to 20 minutes. After that, would-be users give up. They assume that the product is faulty, and then they take it back. To take it back to the ah. store. And overall, the report suggests more than 50% of household gadgets are returned to the store because they're just too difficult to figure out. And other parts of the study show nearly two-thirds of respondents said they own gadgets with functions that they don't understand and they don't ever use. Now, the least popular gadget in the survey, the uh, complicated remote control. Oh. Yeah, the remote control, the one for your TV, your DVD player, even your stereo. stereo. And when it comes to picking out design, six out of 10 respondents said that they would pick the simple mobile phone design. They also said uh, that they would uh, pick the easy to use digital camera. Just just point and click and that's it. Point and shoot, yeah, that's yeah. what everybody wants. Good quality, lots of pixels, pixels, right? So the winner boots, did they make the podcast? I never got an answer. I don't know, did it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't anymore. remember. This was yesterday. <laughs> I mean, all right. No, it's I, many, I got it many right hours ago. <laughs> okay, I got it right here. I'll, I'll go watch. All right, there you, you take a look. You let us know. Give us okay. the, uh, the judges' rating. <laughs> Thanks so much, Veronica. And a quick reminder: you can also catch Veronica every weekday on American Morning. She's still there, six to nine <laughs> Eastern. Why? Bye, bye bye. Bye. Have a great weekend. You too.